what is up guys welcome back to the channel this is dr hermes tank so today we're going to do another emulation gaming test with the oneplus 8 pro before i go on any further i would say the snapdragon 865 on this oneplus 8 pro makes it a real beast so i'll be using the ps4 dual shock controller with the 8-bit dual sn30 pro let's check out some of these raw specs so like I mentioned, it comes with a Snapdragon 865, it's a 7 nanometer SoC, it's 1 core 2.84 GHz, 3 cores 2.42, and 4 cores 1.8. GPU is bumped up to a Adreno 650, comes with 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, and a 256 gigs of UFS 3.0 storage. Over here, you can see that nice 6.78 inch of Fluid AMOLED, with a maximum setting of Quad HD Plus with a 120Hz panel. Comes with stereo speakers and this phone comes with an Oxygen OS of 10.5.8, the latest there is from OnePlus on top of its Android 10. The battery that's going to power up this phone is a 4510mAh and to charge that now we have 30 watts of warp charging. So as you guys know, we have Daemon PS2, PPSSPP, Dolphin Emulator, Raid Dream and Citra. So they have actually come out with an official build for Citra. You can find it on the Google Store. I find it more stable than the APK versions you got before. So do let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this and do let me know what you guys think about it. So the first game we have from Citra is Pokemon X. And as you can see here, the game is running very well. It's much better than on the Tab S6 and S20+. Plus. This is of course, like I said, is the official app you can find on the Google Store. I have tested it out on the Tab S6 and it does run better as well. So do let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see another test on the Tab S6. Over here you can see it running almost at full speed at about 25 to 30 fps. You will get some stutters here and there due to the sound. But overall I would say this game is very much playable. Now we're going on to some Raid Dream to play those Dreamcast games again. And as you would expect, it plays Dead or Alive super perfect. Everything is smooth, the controls are very good. There's no latency and this is what you're gonna get. Here you can see it running at full speed at 60 FPS. And this is just normal, one times the resolution. Now let's move on to some PS2 games. The best game console there ever is. So as usual, this is Kingdom Hearts 2, and as you can see here, just like on the Tab S6, it plays very well. Everything is smooth, it's running almost at full speed at a nice 60 FPS. And as you can see here, I have not progressed that much compared to the game when I played on the Tab S6. Next up on the Daemon PS2, we are playing God of War 2 again. And as usual, this game plays very well on the OnePlus 8 Pro. It's running at a full speed again at 60 FPS. I did bump up the resolution all the way to 1080p and as you can see, it looks gorgeous, nice to play and it's nice to look at. Now we go on to some PSP games on the PPSSPP. The first one we have is Tekken and as usual, like I said, it plays very well, very smooth. No latency, it's running full speed at 100% and 60fps. For all the games on PSP, I did bump up the resolution all the way to 4 times. It's almost like HD at 1080p. Next up, we have WWE and as you can see, it plays very well. It's running at full speed again at a nice 60fps. And as you can see, I've been playing the same games on all devices. Do let me know down in the comments if you have any games you want me to try out. And I will probably just download it and see how it goes in my next test. And if it does get enough likes, I will be testing it out. Next up, we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. And as it was on the S20 and Tab S6, it plays very well, smooth. It is running, I think, a little bit smoother. And I would say... With the fact that it is running at 1080p, I would say this is really good. Next over here, we have God of War Chainsaw Olympus. It's a bit better compared to the Tab S6, but a lot better than the S20+. Plus. It's running at full speed at 1080p with 60fps. 
And I don't mean to put the S20 down, but I would say I'm very impressed with how this game runs. If you want to see how the S20 fared, you can check out the video over here. Now we go on to Dolphin Emulator to play some GameCube and Wii games. And I think this is where the Snapdragon 865 shines the best. As you can see here on Need for Speed Most Wanted, it plays very well. But it's no surprise knowing that if you've seen my S20 Plus and on the Tab 6, it plays very well too. It's running at full speed at 15 to 30 FPS. For these games, I did bump up the resolution to 1080p just to push it a little further. It's a bit stuttery on this game, but I would say overall it's still playable. I haven't tweaked those settings yet. Let me know down below if you'll use the OpenGL or Vulkan for your game setting. And this is the game that I am most impressed. As you have seen in my other videos, you will know that this game is very hard to run. Even on the Snapdragon 855, I had to do a lot of tweaks to make it run a little bit smoother. But as you can see here, it runs very smooth at full speed. And you can see the frame rate is about 20 to 30 FPS, which is very impressive. I have gone through the missions on this game and I would say it does stutter a little bit here and there, but it is still very playable. I'll probably be playing this a little bit more just to see how this goes. And lastly, over here, we have some Ultimate Smash Bros. Brawl. And you can, you can see it plays very well. It looks really good as well. So if you don't have a Nintendo Switch or whatever, I am not trying to encourage this. But if you want to, you can just pick this up. It is a bit hard to download these games as the file sizes are too huge. But do let me know if you have any other games like I mentioned you want me to play on the Wii and on the GameCube. So that's a wrap guys. So do let me know what kind of games and emulator you want me to try out. I may do one on my Tab S6 or OnePlus 8 Pro. So if you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and subscribe as well. It does really help a lot with the channel. Do follow me in my socials in the link below. This is Dr. Hamistag. Stay safe, take care and wash those hands.